Next, I'm going to talk about making a selection of hair in Photoshop. Um, and doing this is probably one of the more challenging things that you can do in Photoshop, and it takes a lot of practice. So I would advise that before you, um, before you submit uh, and participate in this part of the skills practice, that you practice quite a bit. So this is probably going to take um, the most time. Um, so the idea behind making a selection of hair is to use um, the select and mask dialog. So we have some images here for you to choose. Um, a couple of pictures of my doggy and my daughter. And I have one open already and I've actually cropped it and I've cheated just a little bit. Um, oh, and I renamed it too, which you should do. Um, so I cropped it so it'd be a little bit smaller. I just really want to focus on the hair um, and also a little bit of the surrounding area. So with this selection, I've already made the selection. So I'm going to go ahead and load it. Um, so I've made it and saved it as a non-refined selection. Um, again, making a selection is a challenging thing and I didn't want um, to take up too much time on this demonstration. So um, what I did is I used a combination of the um, of the quick selection tool and a couple of the different lasso tools to to get the selection. The majority of it honestly was with the quick selection tool. Um, but the idea is to get um, the majority of the hair and just do the best that you can um, and then uh, and then the the rest um, of the outline of her. So from here, what I'm going to do is go into the select and mask. And this is how you end up refining the edge, particularly around uh, the hair of, of your image. So when I select that, you can see that um, I've got, uh, well, I have my view mode set up to be on white. So you can do on white um, on layers. I have another layer, so um, it, doesn't really show very well that way. Um, onion skin or the overlay. So I, I typically either like on white or the overlay. And once you choose one of these, you can actually choose the opacity of it. So that kind of helps you to see and decipher where your selection is. So I've got a pretty good selection, but you can notice here around the hair how rough it is and this is the whole idea about refining the edge and this is a pretty cool thing that you um, can do quite um, well not super easily but quite easily in Photoshop so um, in this dialogue I have a couple of selection tools and I also have this this is what you want to pick up um, uh, to work with the hair it's the refine edge brush tool so this, as a brush tool, you can make it larger or smaller. And to refine the edge, what you're going to do is, is take the brush and click and drag and kind of smooth over the edges of the hair. And you can see how it, it doesn't grab all of it, but it is grabbing the wispy hairs that, um, that are kind of blowing in the in the breeze hair here. So I'm going to go over the edges and I'm going to draw these in. And I apologize for pausing, talking, but sometimes doing these multitasking is while I'm doing this is not really, um, I'm not really that great at it anyway. So you notice here now, if you look at the hair, um, how much better it looks. Um, you see it's not just kind of this helmet that she's wearing, but you can actually see the wispy hairs that are um, blowing in the wind. Now, um, you can do this not only to the hair, but you can also um, take the brush and kind of smooth over um, on these edges where it kind of is not doing a, such a good job of picking it up. So you can refine these edges too. So I'm just going to go over this just a little bit. Um, and you know, sometimes this, well, maybe this a little bit more. 
because we can actually take this a step further. So um, this is really great for hair in particular, and it's also great just refining and completing um, and perfecting your selection. Um, so, so this is really the magic tool that you want to use for this. So before I leave here, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this panel and I'm going to check the box, de decontaminate colors, and I'm going to output to a new layer with a layer mask. And this is great because my selection automatically turns into this layer mask, which I can refine even more. So for this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and turn these both off. For this exercise, after you make your selection, the idea is to um, fill it with a different color or um, with a solid color or with a gradient. So I can show you how to do both. So this is an adjustment layer symbol and I can go in and select solid color. Oops, I had the wrong layer selected. Um, let me go ahead and just choose a color here to start and then um, I need to move this and had it in the wrong place. I should have had this background copy layer um, highlighted when I did that. Um, but here you can see uh, how well it actually picked up these um, wispy hairs. So it really blends much, much better into the background. So if you find that you miss some areas, like I missed this area here, you don't have to go back to your selection, but rather what you can do is go here to your layer mask and using a, the paintbrush, you can paint in, in this case here, actually want to fill it in oops, with black. Black will hide and the white will reveal. So I can actually take it a step further by just working here in the actual layer mask with some brushes and brushing and when you're doing this type of work the, uh, the white will reveal and black will hide so here I kind of went a little too far in so I can go back and go back and forth from black and white and really refine and work um, on making it really perfect. So um, for this skills practice, make sure that you take a screenshot of not only your work, um, but also the layers. Oh, and before I do that, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, so, oh, let me highlight this because you can also do a gradient adjustment layer and the gradient fill would just um, be multiple colors here and you can choose um, maybe some different colors if you want um, so whatever to your liking um, so for this you want um, to show your layers and rather than um, uh, because you can't well you can't embed a Photoshop file you'd want to show your work by taking a screenshot of this so I can, on my Mac, I choose Command Shift 4, and I can actually just capture a screenshot of this, or you can just um, uh, do a screenshot of the whole thing, and then that would be a PNG file that you would embed in the discussion to show your work.